Hello everyone and welcome back to Edureka YouTube channel. Today we will be diving into an exciting world of Selenium WebDriver, where elegant and accurate browser battles are put together by code that turns them into a digital magicians. But before that, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest tech content from Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. Now, let us take a quick look at the agenda of today's video. First, we will begin with the introduction. Then, we will discuss what is exactly Selenium, along with the Selenium components. Then, we will discuss what is Selenium WebDriver and why it is needed. Along with that, we will discuss why Selenium WebDriver. Then, we will take a look at the Selenium WebDriver framework architecture. Then, we will discuss the benefits and the limitations of Selenium WebDriver. Followed by that, we will discuss Selenium RC versus WebDriver. And finally, we will code a demo of WebDriver automation testing and finish up with a conclusion. Now, without any further delay, let's get started with the introduction. An automated tool of testing web application is called as WebDriver, known by its common name Selenium WebDriver. It is not dependent on the servers like Selenium RC, instead it directly communicates with the browser. It can also handle multiple pop-ups, alert pop-up windows and frames, and also difficult navigation on the pages. It also has an advanced user interface navigation like drag and drop and uses the UI components. Now we will discuss about what is Selenium. Selenium is a tool that is widely used in testing community for cross-browser testing. Selenium can also be used in browsers and cannot be used in automated desktop application. It is regarded as one of the most popular tools for web application automation testing because it is supported by popular web browsers making it extremely powerful. Now we will discuss about Selenium components. Selenium is an extensive collection of tools designed to help in testing and automation of web application. The Selenium key components are as follows. Selenium components are divided into four types. First one is Selenium IDE, Integrated Development Environment, is a browser extension that helps you to create test scripts more easily. It also has a record and playback features that allows beginners to generate test scripts without writing code. The Selenium IDE Chrome and Firefox extension are also available. Next is Selenium RC. Working with Selenium RC, remote control requires a firm understanding of at least one programming language. These tools allow you to create mobile-first tests in any programming language of your choice. Selenium RC has two main components, which are server and client libraries. Its architecture is complex and also has limitations. Next is Selenium Grid. Grid enables the execution of test scripts on multiple machines in parallel, resulting in a distributed testing environment. It is extremely useful for cross-browser testing and shortening test execution time. And the last one is Selenium WebDriver. Selenium WebDriver is more complex version of Selenium RC. It was released in market to address the shortcoming of Selenium RC. Countless being an advanced version of RC, its architecture is completely different. Selenium WebDriver, like Selenium RC, supports multiple programming language and platforms to provide a greater flexibility and does not require the knowledge of any programming language. Now, we have a clear view about the components of Selenium. Next, we will move on to what is Selenium WebDriver. Selenium WebDriver was the first cross-platform testing framework capable of configuring and controlling browsers at the operating system level. It served as a programming interface for developing and executing test cases. WebDriver allows you to automate testing and interaction between web application by writing script in various programming language such as Python, Java, Ruby, JavaScript, etc. Selenium WebDriver is an important component of web application testing and automation because it is a powerful tool of automating web browser interaction. Now, we will move on to the needs for Selenium WebDriver. The challenges and the requirements of testing web application requires the use of Selenium WebDriver. Here are some of the main reasons why Selenium WebDriver is so popular in web testing. And one of such reasons is cross-browser compatibility testing. 
Because web application must function across multiple browsers and visions, cross-browser compatibility is crucial. Selenium web drivers enable testers to create scripts that can run on various browsers, assisting in finding and fixing browser-specific issues. And the next reason is automation of monotonous tasks. Manual web application testing can be time-consuming and error mistake especially when repeating across multiple test cycles. Selenium WebDriver automates routine tasks, resulting in less testing efforts and more accurate results. Then, integration with testing frameworks. Selenium WebDriver combines easily with popular testing frameworks, such as JUnit, TestNG, and NUnit. This allows for a better test cases organization, reports, and management. Next is validation of business workflows. Web application frequently includes complex business workflows that must be validated. Selenium WebDriver allows testers to script and automate the validation of end-to-end -end workflows, ensuring that crucial business process works properly. And the last one is dynamic web application. Dynamic contents and asynchronized behaviors are used in many modern web applications to deal with the challenges of dynamically changing web pages. Selenium web drivers include mechanisms such as dynamic weights. Now we will discuss why Selenium web driver. Selenium web driver is a popular choice of web automation and testing. Here are a few reasons why. Platform independent. Selenium web driver is platform independent, which means the test written in one operating system, for example Windows, can be run on another operating system, for example, Linux. This adoptability facilitates the maintenance and the growth of test. Next is open source and community support. Selenium is an open source project with community support. This includes outgoing development, frequent updates, and strong community support. Users can benefit from resources, documentation, and discussion contributed by the community. Next is versatility of web application types. Selenium WebDriver can be used to test wide range of web applications, including statistic contents, websites, dynamic single page application, and complex enterprise level application. Next is comprehensive testing. Selenium WebDriver supports a wide range of testing, such as functionality, regression, and user acceptance testing. This enables you to cover a wide range of web application testing requirements. And the last one is dynamic weights and synchronization. In modern web application, handling dynamic web pages and asynchronized conduct is crucial. Action weights are provided by Selenium WebDriver, allowing scripts to wait for elements to appear and disappear. This assists in avoiding synchronization issues. Now, we will discuss about the framework architecture of Selenium WebDriver. WebDriver architecture are made up of four major components. The first one is Selenium Client Library. Selenium supports a variety of library, including Python, Ruby, and Java. Thanks for the language binding created by Selenium developer to ensure language compatibility. For example, if you want to use a browser driver in Python, you can get all of the supporting language binding from Selenium official website. Next is JSON via protocol. JavaScript object notation is commonly known as JSO. It is an open standard that provides a mechanism for sending data between the web client and the server. It also supports variety of data structures such as array and object, making it easier to read and write data from JSON. Next is browser drivers. Selenium provides driver for each browser, and the browser driver interact with a specific browser by establishing a safe connection without revealing the internal logic of the browser functionality. These browser drivers are also particular to the language used for the test case automation, such as Python, c -sharp, or Java. When a test script is run with the browser driver, the following steps are carried out in the background. For each Selenium command, an HTTP request is generated and sent to the browser driver. The driver receives the HTTP request from the HTTP server. Then, the HTTP server determines all of the steps, instructions to be executed on the browser. And finally, 
the http server receives the execution status and forward it to the automation script and the last step is real browsers as previously stated selenium supports a variety of browsers such as chrome firefox safari internet explorer and the others now we will take a look at the benefits of selenium web driver the first one is it is one of the most popular open source tool for testing web based application and it is easy to use it also allows you to test across browser compatibility next is operating system support which includes windows unix linux etc it is also suitable for variety of languages which includes python ruby java and the others supports modern browser such as chrome firefox safari and internet explorer and the next one is selenium web driver completes test scripts execution faster than the other tools and the final one is api application programming interface that is more clear than the selenium rc it also works with iphone driver html unit driver and android driver now as we are clear about the benefits of selenium web driver let's take a quick look at the limitation of selenium web driver selenium web driver is designed mainly for testing web application it lacks built in support for testing desktop application mobile apps and other non web interfaces selenium web driver does not include reporting capability to generate detailed and visually appealing test reports the team frequently integrates third party reporting tools captcha completely automated public tuning test to tell computers and humans apart is a problem for selenium web driver these task frequently necessitates the use of additional tools or manual support for beginners especially those who have little programming experiences selenium is hard to learn it may take some time to learn how to write efficiently and maintain test scripts and the final one is selenium web driver does not directly support file upload and download automation script may require additional work arounds to interact for these let us discuss about selenium rc versus web driver selenium rc architecture is complicated because the server must be up and running before starting a test whereas web driver architecture is simple than the selenium rc because it controls the browser at an operating system level the selenium server acts as a go between the browser and the selenium components web driver directly communicates with the browser and it is controlled by the browser engine the selenium rc does not support headless execution because it requires a real browser to function headless execution is supported by web driver selenium rc is straightforward and have a small api api is complex and larger than the selenium rc api that is less object oriented whereas in web driver api that is completely object oriented and the final difference is mobile application cannot be tested in selenium rc apps for iphone and android can be tested in web driver now we will demo a code on automation testing with web driver i'm using pycharm to automate the python script using selenium web driver which will automate the amazon website if you want to download python pycharm for selenium web driver there is a video available from edureka which is called as selenium python that you can learn how to download all this three and i'll give the link in the description box and now let's start with the code import line this line will import the time modules which will be used for introducing the delay in the script this line will import the web driver module from the selenium library we will use the necessary tools from this this line will import the key modules which contains the keyboard related functions this line creates the instance of the chrome web driver the path of the chrome driver execution should be replaced with the actual path on your system this line will open the amazon website in a chrome browser this section will locate the search box on the amazon page using the id attributes and it will find the search box element using the id attribute now i'll give the sleep time as 5 seconds this line will introduce the statistic wait for 5 seconds now i'll type atomic habits which the search bar have to search for now i'll give as key returns 
this line will send the enter key submitting the search. Now I'll give this also time sleep for 5 seconds. I'll give the implicit wait for 5 seconds. The web driver will wait for 5 seconds when trying to find the elements before throwing the execution if the element is not found. This line will close the browser window and ending up the web driver session. Now we will check if the code is working. Now you can see it's gone to Amazon. And it's searching for the atomic habits. And you can see the page. It will stay for 5 seconds because our time sleep was 5 seconds. Now you know how the execution works. The script automates the process of opening Amazon, searching for the book called Atomic Habits, waiting for the search result to load, and then in the browser will be closing using the Selenium web driver. For better coordination, the script includes the statistic weight, which is called as the sleep time, which can also be improved by using dynamic weight. Now after 5 seconds, the window will get closed. I hope now you understood how automation testing works with Selenium web driver. Now we will move on to the conclusion part. While Selenium web driver have many advantages, it also have many drawbacks such as difficulty in handling non-web applications, limited reporting capabilities, and long learning process for beginners. Selenium WebDriver with the proper understanding, best practice, and the use of additional tools and framework, remaining as a leading choice for web automation and testing in software development life cycles. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and keep learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!